a new exhibit goes on display, George W. Bush's paintings. And I talked to the president, former president, about this when the library opened. Listen to him here in a Today Show interview with his daughter. It's a great family moment here, discussing uh, his new life as an artist. What do you think their reactions will be? I think they're going to be, uh, wow, George Bush is a painter. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure when they heard that I was painting them, if they had, they're going to say, well, I, I'm looking forward to seeing the stick figure he painted of <laughs> me. <laughs> and there you see the Vladimir Putin image right there. Uh, it's a very severe picture. <laughs> it's top topical. <laughs> I don't think I could do any better, though. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Don't hand me a, don't hand me a paintbrush, please. <laughs> right, well, is it that, then that part of it, you know, uh, as a politician, uh, he always benefited from extremely low expectations, as he would say, people constantly misunderestimated yeah. him. Uh, uh, what do we think of the post-presidency life of George W. Bush, the artist? Well, my colleague Peter Baker has a great story today about this season of rehabilitation for past presidents, right? Uh, all kinds of presidents are having a second look now for a variety of reasons. And for this president, it's because he has found a sort of new life uh, as a painter. Look. Uh, it is rich because the sort of rap on George W. Bush was uh, this guy is sort of this uncultured cowboy. Uh, now, now here he is, uh, you know, working in, in uh, oil. So how about that? I remember on a trip uh, to the Hermitage in St. Petersburg, uh, he was in and out in like 40 minutes, and everybody thought, wow, that's impossible. How do you get in? <laughs> <laughs> Speed tourism, yeah. Right. But does it help his image, a softer image for George W. Bush? Most of the conversation about George W. Bush is about the Iraq War, about the wartime presidency. Is this a, to borrow a term from his dad, a kinder, gentler George W. Bush? <laughs> I think it's really interesting the way that he's taking control of his own image. You know, these aren't paintings of landscapes and bowls of fruit and things like that, although <laughs> we did see some uh, really interesting, more personal uh, paintings come out of him. These are of world leaders. It's a way to show, you know, I'm engaged. I'm doing this yeah. my own way. I'm taking control of what my life looks like after the right. presidency in a way that you're not, that I haven't personally seen from a lot of other presidents. So I think it's really fascinating that he's chosen to come out in this way, is actually mm -hmm. drawing attention to this thing that he's doing in his off hours. Right. And I want to give the former president some credit, and I hope Democrats uh, who maybe didn't like his presidency will as well for something he said yesterday, where he said he thinks it's important that we stop calling it PTSD, disorder, drop the disorder. The president's saying, call it post-traumatic stress. If you call it a disorder, you're discouraging some of these vet veterans from getting the help they need because you're kind of giving them a stigma, telling them there's something wrong with them. So I think all of us should give the former president some credit for trying to lead that and help the wounded warriors.